Hey everyone, this is Anirudh from Edureka. In this session, I'll be walking you through how you can install and set up Python on Windows so you can begin coding with it and working in Python, guys. This session is intended to be useful for anyone who's considering to kickstart their learning about Python and needs some basic insight about how to go about with the installation of Python. So let's begin this brief session by checking out the agenda, guys. So we'll start with the introduction of Python and later check out why we need to learn Python, guys. Then we'll move on to installing Python. Followed by that, we'll look at an overview of how you can set up a runtime with Python and begin coding with it, guys. So let's begin by checking out what Python actually is. Guys, we already know that Python is a programming language, right? Well, to be more specific, Python is a really powerful high-level object-oriented language which was created by a person called as Guido Van Rossum. Well, yes, that's him. So why did he choose to name this as Python, guys? Well, not certainly because of the snake, but it was from a TV series that Rossum used to watch. So let's get started then. I'm sure you guys are curious about why Python is so popular, right? Guys, if you can recall a few years ago, people told that Python was the next big thing. Well, they were right. In today's situation, it is the big thing, guys. So let's check it out. Well, for starters, we all feel a bit let down or lagging when we start learning new languages, right? So whether you're a beginner or a pro. Well, it's maybe because of all of the sheer concepts or something that confuses you or you don't understand or something. Well, in my personal opinion, Python solves all of my headaches with the languages that I have learned. And if I had to start with a language from scratch, I would choose Python for sure, guys. No two doubts about that. Why? Well, because it is very beginner friendly and the syntax is extremely simple to read and follow through, guys. Well, this definitely makes us all happy and surely, yes, Python has millions of happy learners across the globe. Well, I can't begin to tell you how fun it is to work with Python. And now that we know what Python is, let's take a quick look at why you should consider learning Python. Well, guys, Python is a general purpose language. But it has a wide range of applications ranging from web development, scientific and mathematic computing, and even designing your own graphical user interfaces. So you can make use of Django and Bottle for web development. You can make use of NumPy and SymPy for mathematical computations. And you can design your own games using Pygame as well. And so much more, guys. And also the syntax of the language is really, really clean and the length of the code is relatively short. It's fun to work in Python because it allows you to think about the problem rather than focusing on the syntax itself, guys. And every Fortune 500 company that exists today uses Python in one way or the other, guys. You don't even have to do any digging to know this fact. And again, as I said, Python is extremely popular among both the startups and established industry giants. And programming in Python is definitely fun, guys. It's easier to understand and write Python code. Again, why? because the syntax feels natural, guys. And on that note, let us come to the main agenda of the session, which is to help you all to install and set up Python. Let us begin. So guys, to begin with and install Python, the easiest way is to come to the official documentation page and go about from there. So here I have opened up the official python.org page and we are in the download section of the page. As you can check the URL, we are at python.org slash downloads slash windows, guys. Since this tutorial is mainly focused on installing Python for Windows, we are here, guys. Just in case if you had to install on Linux or something, the steps are quite different from what we do for Windows. However, coming back, the latest Python 3 version release is Python 3.7.2 and the latest Python 2 release is 2.7.15. Well, based on your requirement and your needs, at this point of time, you should already know which version of Python that you should use. And just in case, if you don't, you can actually install both of these versions, Python 2 and Python 3, into your machine and go about from there as well, guys. Well, as you can check out, 3.7.2 is the latest version of Python at the time that this session was curated, guys. So basically, we need to go and download this from the official site. Well, all you need to do is click on the latest release version there and it'll take you to the download section, guys. However, the first section is actually all of the changes and the new features added in Python 3.7. And there are multiple documentations here as well. So basically, this is all the change log of this particular version of Python, guys. Well, all you need to do at this point of time is to scroll down to the files section and then search for Windows out here. Well, as you can see, there are multiple versions to install, right? So you actually get an embeddable zip file, which is actually a zip file where you have to unzip it and then install it manually. Or you actually have an executable installer, guys. And if you can notice, there are two versions here as well. 
One is the 32-bit version and the other one is 64-bit version, guys. Well, basically, you need to know if your machine is either running a 32-bit version of Windows or a 64-bit version of Windows, guys. But however, do know that the 32-bit version is actually backwards compatible with 64-bit as well. So what I mean by that is in case if you have a 64-bit machine, you can still go ahead and install Python 32-bit and it would work absolutely fine. But if you have a 32-bit Windows, then you will not be allowed to install the 64-bit version, guys. I hope I'm clear with that. And now that you would be familiar with your particular version of Windows, both are actually of the same installer as well. Well, as soon as you go ahead and download it, and basically all you need to do is open it later, guys. Giving it administrative privileges is a choice, but then it is always recommended. So as soon as you run it as an admin, you'll be greeted with the following screen, guys. So basically, it is telling you the Python version right now, and it has automatically selected 64-bit version for my machine, guys. So basically, you can actually customize the installation at this point. You can choose the location and the features you need as well, and all of that. One main thing that I want you guys to do is that make sure that this particular option is checked. It says add Python 3.7 to the path. I will let you know why this is really important, but just make sure to check this at this point, guys. And all you need to do is hit install now and Python is ready in your machine, guys. Well, basically, as you can already see there, it says that a, a program called idle is also installed with it, right? So idle is nothing but a graphical user interface, which is used to work with Python, guys. So let me quickly open up idle to show you what it actually is. Well, as you can check out, it is basically a Python 3.7 shell, guys. So here you can actually type out anything that you want. So let us say print. Oh, hello, Edureka. As soon as I hit enter, that is executed, right? So basically you can run any of the Python programs here as well. So let me go ahead and do another hex equal to 10 print hex into two. So X into two is basically 10 into two 20 and that is good, right? So it basically provides a GUI for Python guys as simple as that. But do know that if you actually have a Windows machine, there is a very good chance that Python might already come installed in your machine guys. However, there is one more thing that you need to do. Well, that is to actually check out your environment variable guys. So basically you need to right click on my computer and go to properties guys. And in properties, you need to go to advanced system settings and environment variables. And here you need to check if the path of the user variable actually points to your Python installation location, guys. So this is basically why we had to have the checkbox during the installation. Well, if this is not the case, then you have to manually come here and add the path in the system variable, guys. So why is this required? I'm pretty sure you guys could have already guessed it at this point, but let me quickly go ahead and show you a demo. Let me open up my command prompt. And if Python is in my path, as soon as I hit Python, it is supposed to open up the interpreter and be ready for me to execute commands, guys. And since I already have the path established, it is actually done. So it is as simple as this, guys. Well, installing Python is actually pretty straightforward and simple, but let me quickly push you on another concept, right? Well, so next up on this session, we'll actually check out the different development environments available for Python, guys. Well, Python has a large supporting community and there are numerous active forums online, which can be handy if you're stuck anywhere, guys. Well, at Edureka, we have a vast community for Python, lots of blogs and these amazing videos created by our subject matter experts as well. So make sure to check them out. All right. So we have multiple development environments for Python, guys. So we have PyDev for Eclipse, we have PyCharm, we have Notepad++ and Bluefish for you all Mac users as well. We have Komodo and Vim2. Guys, these are some of the many IDs that's out there that you can develop code in. Well, I suggest you use something that you're comfortable with and then go from there, guys. Well, choosing an IDE is like choosing an ice cream flavor. You need to first try it out practically and see if it suits your need perfectly. If it does, then go ahead and make use of it, guys. Well, personally, in my case, it has been a long journey with Python, guys. I have tried multiple IDEs and I have a personal liking towards PyCharm. It is really simple and amazing to work with. And I'm sure a majority of the entire community agrees with me when I say that PyCharm is the number one IDE for Python guys. Well, I got a lot of requests from you guys to push out a PyCharm tutorial. I actually have a full tutorial on how you can actually begin using PyCharm. I'll leave a link in the description box below. So make sure to check it out guys. And on that note, let me quickly conclude this short session for you guys. So we started out by checking a quick introduction to Python. Later, we checked out why we need to consider learning Python. And lastly, we checked out how simple and easy it is to install and set up Python on Windows, guys. 
Also, it is at this point of time, I'd like to mention that I have curated an in-depth Python tutorial just for you guys. The link to this can also be found in the description box below. So make sure to check that out as well. So that is it for this small session guys. I hope you took away some real good points from here and that this helped you kickstart your Python learning. So thank you guys. You know what to do. If you have any queries, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel for more information on the latest technologies and all of the courses offered. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!